Pratt Fine Art Center is here because of a civil rights activist, Edwin T. Pratt. That's why they put it in this community because this community was predominantly African American and they put this facility here to celebrate his life and what he had done. And he really fought for equal access to housing and educational opportunities for all. So that spirit of accessibility comes directly from that namesake. We believe that art is of benefit to all people. And we recognize that there are systems of oppression that keep people from accessing that. We are really committed to breaking down those barriers so that all people can be empowered to do this work. My experience at Pratt was that it definitely broke through that ivory tower of um, art school, which is now very expensive and very exclusive. So this is a professionally outfitted school and everyone is welcome. And you never know if that one class could be the turning point for someone the rest of their life. The beauty of Pratt is just people willing to just share with you their knowledge without any, any barrier. When you go to take classes from all these different teachers, it's like you're going to the studio of those teachers. And I was walking by Pratt, and this is in the 80s, and I came in and I thought that glass would be the perfect medium to express what I was trying to say. And I asked about it, and the guy said, well, this is really more for men, it's hot, it's on the concrete, you don't really you know, do this. And I said, well, I'm going to do this. It opens up a lot of doors. And for a lot of artists, I think it, it was also a stepping stone to their careers. They had an access to processes and materials, learn some skills that they were able to take out in the, in the real world and develop into a, an actual career or business. If you look around any of the studios, there's major equipment here that if you pass a little test, you can come in and use them. And that's huge, that's a huge um, advantage to anyone. I always encourage the kids. So I, luckily I have this time, I had this big piece that I could have more than one kids on it. And uh, so I just encourage them to come and try it. You know, just give them the eye goggles and uh, give them a small hammer and chisel, show them how to do it. And you should see the uh, excitement of the kids. It, it's a beautiful memory that I, I would always treasure. I had a show 2015 at the Northwest African American Museum, which was 2,500 square feet that I had to work on. And it was so wonderful to talk to the young African American kids that would come through and they couldn't believe that I had made all this stuff. And they're like, well, how did you do it? And it's kind of hard to explain. And I would say, well, you need to take a class at Pratt. <laughs>